Pastors, seminarians, and congregation members who are attending Shincheonji Online Seminar from all over the world, it is nice to meet you. My name is Park Sung Hoon, and I'll be your host today. In today's seminar, we'll be going over what every believer has been curious about, which is a testimony on the parables of the secrets of heaven and their true meanings hidden inside the 66 books of the Bible. Many believers are continuing to be surprised as they realize from the previous seminars that the secrets of heaven that had been hidden with parables began to unravel. We are also hearing the good news that they are wanting to become one within God's Word. Today's lesson is also being broadcast in several different languages, so even more people can perceive the secrets of heaven. Now, before we begin, we'll gather our hearts and pray together to give thanks and glory to God who allowed us to receive this precious word of life. Our Father God, we truly thank you. You have opened up the path to heaven for all as a testimony on the parables of the secrets of heaven and their true meanings is now being preached to the whole world. We give you all thanks and glory. We ask that you guide us to a time of your grace where our souls receive life through your word that is like the precious light of life. Please also pour out your Holy Spirit upon the lips of the instructor who will be testifying to your word today so that every ear who hears it will clearly understand the kingdom of heaven and be filled with hope and gratitude. We ask that you alone receive all glory and that you fill up the family members from all around the world with your limitless grace and love. We earnestly pray all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Following Lesson 20, we'll be going over the content of Introductory Lesson 21 titled The Figurative Heaven and Earth and Sun, Moon, and Stars. Today, we'll discuss what heaven and earth mean as spoken in the Bible, along with what the sun, moon, and stars that are in the sky are. We'll find out more about the secrets of heaven this time as we welcome up instructor Be Ji Ung from Matthias tribe, who'll be testifying to the secrets and their true meanings. Greetings to all pastors, seminarians, and believers around the world who have faith in the hope of heaven. It is nice to meet you. I am Pe Jiung, a center instructor from the 12 tribes of Shincheonji, taught by the leader of Matthew's tribe. Our tribe leader was taught by the chairman of Shincheonji Lee Manhi. I sincerely thank you so much for attending Shincheonji Online Seminar today, the testimony on the parables of the secrets of heaven and their true meanings. 2,000 years ago, Jesus spoke of the secrets of heaven in parables. And Jesus promised in John 16, verse 25, a time is coming when the secrets of heaven will be clearly made known with reality when the prophecy is fulfilled. The reason why we can clearly testify to the secrets of heaven is because according to Jesus' promise, the time has come when the reality of the parable has appeared. I sincerely hope that you will listen carefully to the words of the secrets of heaven and that it will be a precious time for you to receive grace. Then let's take a look at the title of today's topic, 
I'll be covering today. Lesson 21, the figurative heaven, earth, sun, moon, and stars. In the Bible, there is a physical sky, which is the heavens and the physical earth, and the sun, moon, and stars in nature that we can see with our physical eyes, as well as a spiritual heaven and earth, sun, moon, and stars, as it states in the title of today's lesson. I believe there are some pastors who are in attendance at today's seminar already know about the spiritual heaven, earth, sun, moon, and stars. And there are those who need to know more. But even if you do know, I would be grateful if you can listen carefully to the explanation that will be given one more time today. First, I will share with you the true meaning of figurative heaven and earth. Heaven is a tabernacle of the chosen people. Earth is a flesh. And the sun is a shepherd, moon, evangelist, a star is a saint. Then we will see together through the Bible why these answers are the way they are. First, we will read Genesis chapter 37, verse 9 to 11. Then he dreamed another dream, and told it to his brothers, and said, Behold, I have dreamed another dream. Behold, the sun, the moon, and eleven stars were bowing down to me. But when he told it to his father and to his brothers, his father rebuked him, and said to him, What is this dream that you have dreamed? Shall I and your mother and your brothers indeed come to bow ourselves to the ground before you? And his brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the saying in mind. You have read well. As we see this passage, Jacob's family was referred to as a sun, moon, and stars. Where are the sun, moon, and stars? Yes, it is a sky, heaven. Then the place where Jacob's family is can be called heaven. Therefore, in the Bible, the chosen people like Jacob's family are figuratively referred to as the sun, moon, and stars, and the tabernacle, where these chosen people are, is figuratively referred to heaven. Today, we will learn about the heaven and earth, the sun, moon, and stars spoken in parables, and the prophecies of the heaven, earth, sun, moon, and stars that will be fulfilled for us. First, let's look at the physical characteristics of heaven and confirm it through the Bible. What are the physical characteristics of heaven? Isn't it very high? Because God is the Most High. The place where God dwells can be called heaven, which is why the tabernacle where God's chosen people are can be called heaven because God is with them. Let us confirm through the Bible. Let's read Revelation chapter 13, verse 6. It opened its mouth to utter blasphemies against God, blaspheming His name and His dwelling, that is, those who dwell in heaven. In Revelation chapter 13, verse 6, it says that the beast opened its mouth to blaspheme God, blaspheming His name, and those who dwell in His dwelling place, that is heaven. The tabernacle where God's chosen people are is called heaven, right? 
like this, the Bible refers the tabernacle of chosen people with God to be heaven. Also, heaven provides light and rain to the earth, and the earth receives it and receives life, right? Like this, the spiritual earth receives the words like the light and rain from the tabernacle and become the flesh belonging to the tabernacle that received life. Let's confirm through the Bible. Let's read Revelation chapter 13, verse 3. One of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed, and the whole earth marveled as they followed the beast. You have read well. As we see here in Revelation chapter 13, verse 3, it says the whole earth was marveled and followed the beast. If this earth was the actual earth in nature, how could it move and follow the beast? This refers to the figurative earth and figurative beast. This beast is the false pastor who came into the tabernacle of the chosen people, and the earth are the flesh that follows the false pastor. We saw the true meaning of the parables of heaven, tabernacle of chosen people, and earth, which represents flesh. Then, through the words of Revelation, where the prophecies for today are recorded, we will take a look at the parable of heaven and earth. We will read Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. You have read well. Does this mean the actual heaven and earth in which we live in will disappear and a brand new heaven and earth will be created? It doesn't make sense. It is a relief that it is not about the actual heaven and earth passing away. It is because it is figurative heaven and earth. Then what is the first heaven and first earth that pass away, and the new heaven and new earth that is newly created? First heaven and first earth is referring to the congregation members who belong to the tabernacle of the chosen people that God was with before. If the saints of the tabernacle of the chosen people sin and become corrupt, God judges them, puts an end to them, and creates a new tabernacle and new saints. This means that the corrupt old traditional church comes to an end, and a new tabernacle and new saints will be created in the new era. Then, the first heaven and first earth refers to the tabernacle of the chosen people and the members God left, and the new heaven and new earth refers to the new tabernacle and new saints God is with. Next, we will take a look at the meaning of the figurative sun, moon, and stars. Where are the sun, moon, and stars? They are in heaven. Then the figurative sun, moon, and stars is in the figurative heaven, meaning they are inside the tabernacle of the chosen people. Which is why the figurative sun, moon, and stars are referring to the chosen people in the tabernacle of the chosen people. As we saw in Genesis chapter 37, verse 9 to 11, Jacob's family, the chosen people, will refer to as the sun, moon, and stars. 
And amongst the chosen people, there are pastors who give the word like the light, as the sun, and evangelists who receive the word from the pastor and delivers it, referred to as the moon, that shines with the light of the sun, and the stars are referring to the many saints inside the tabernacle. Did all of you listen well to the explanation of the figured as sun, moon, and stars? If you have understood the true meanings of heaven, earth, sun, moon, and stars, we will take a look at the word of prophecy regarding sun, moon, and stars that will be fulfilled today. To the pastors, seminarians, and the believers, have any of you ever heard the content about the sun, moon, and stars that will darken and fall? If the sun, moon, and stars darken and fall, what would happen? We will find out through the book of Matthew and Revelation. Let's read Matthew chapter 24, verse 29 to 31. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. You have read well. The passage we just read is content that will take place in the second coming. The sun will be darkened. The moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven. What would happen if the physical sun, moon, and stars fell on the earth? The earth would disappear. The people of this world and everything that has life will disappear. And after, Jesus will come, will gather his elect from one end of the heavens to the other. But if the world and earth is gone, where on earth are the elect? Yes, this content is a parable. What was the meaning of heaven where the sun and the stars are? It was God's tabernacle of the chosen people. What does it mean when the sun and the stars darken and fall? The words of light do not come out from the shepherd, evangelist, and saints belonging to heaven. They are kicked out by God. Belonging to the devil would be like falling from heaven to earth. The fact that chosen people will be judged and comes to an end means that the era of the chosen people has come to an end. It is just like the first coming, where physical Israel came to an end and spiritual Israel started through Jesus. Because Matthew 24 is a prophecy about the Lord's second coming. Through the sun and stars that darken and fall, we can know that spiritual Israel will also come to an end. Because of previous era of the chosen people come to an end, this is the reason why Jesus said he will send his angels and will gather the elect. Then who could the elect be that Jesus will gather with his angels? 2,000 years ago, Jesus sowed God's seed and said at the end of age, harvest time, 
those born with God's seed that are ripe, who are the sons of the kingdom, is harvested and gathered to the barn. They are the newly chosen people that have been created in the new era after the previous era has come to an end. All of this work is taking place today at the time of the Lord's second coming. Therefore, at the time of the Lord's second coming, we should not be part of the previous era that is judged and comes to an end, but become the newly chosen people in the new era. However, if you do not perceive this and remain in the previous era, you too will be judged and come to an end as well. Isn't that why it said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 37 to 39, and Luke chapter 17, verses 26 to 30, that the time of the second coming will be like the days of Noah and Lot. In the days of Noah, God brought an end to the world of Adam, who sinned and started a new work through Noah. If you wanted to be saved at this time, you had to flee and get on Noah's ark. In Lot's time, he was told to flee to the mountains to not be judged. That is why it says to flee to the mountains in Matthew chapter 24, verse 15. The same content is said in the book of Revelation. We will see this content in detail through Revelation chapter 6 and 7 and find out which mountain we must flee to. Let's read Revelation chapter 6, verse 12 to 14. When he opened the sixth seal, I looked, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black like sackcloth. The full moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth as a fig tree shed its winter fruit when shaken by a gale. The sky vanished like a scroll that is being rolled up, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. You have read well. Revelation 6 is about God's chosen people who sinned, betrayed, received judgment, and come to an end at the time of Revelation fulfillment. The sun became black, the full moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth. The location of Revelation 6 is heaven, the tabernacle of the chosen people. Because the chosen people were judged and came to an end, this is explaining the end of the era of the chosen people. So when the prophecy fulfills, the chosen people, spiritual Israel, the traditional church, the members, will be judged and come to an end. What will happen next? After this, wouldn't the newly chosen people need to be created in the new era? This event is the content of Revelation chapter 7. After this, in Revelation chapter 7, verse 1, is after the previous era, the sun, moon, and stars is judged and comes to an end, and at this time, through the work of sealing with God's word, the 12 tribes, 144,000 are created. Also in verse 9, there is a great multitude that no one can count that will come out from the great tribulation that is created. They become the newly chosen people, God's new tabernacle and new people in the new era. This is why it is said in Revelation chapter 21 that the first heaven and the first earth passed away and a new heaven and a new earth was created. New heaven and new earth in Chinese character is Shin Chan Shin Ji. 
In short, it is Shin Chun Ji. The 12 tribes of Shincheonji is the place of salvation, where God is at the time of revelation fulfillment. In Revelation chapter 14, it is called Mount Zion, where God, Jesus, and the sealed 12 tribes, the 104,000, are gathered. This is the mountain we must flee to at the Lord's second coming and the new heaven and new earth that God comes down to. To the loving pastors, seminarians, and believers, what should we do if these words are true? Jesus said in Matthew chapter 8, verses 11 to 12, the sons of the kingdom will be thrown into the outer darkness and the many that will come from east and west will take their places in the kingdom of heaven. So let's be the sons of heaven who enter the new heaven and new earth and not the first heaven first earth who will end with judgment. Now we will go over the conclusion of today's word. First, the figurative heaven is a tabernacle of the chosen people. The figurative earth is the flesh that belong to the tabernacle. The figurative sun, moon, and stars are the chosen people. Sun is a shepherd, moon, evangelist, and the stars are the saints. Second, the first heaven and the first earth that passes away at the time of Revelation fulfillment is referring to the traditional churches and its members. And the new heaven and new earth God is with is Shincheonji, the 12 tribes, and the saints. Third, at the time of Revelation fulfillment, the summon of stars that darken and fall are referring to the shepherds, evangelists, and saints of the first heaven that passed away, making known the era of the traditional churches has come to an end. However, since new heaven and new earth will be created after this, what a great hope for us. I pray that you will go out to new heaven and new earth and become the sons of the kingdom of heaven. Did all of you listen well today? I hope through the words of the secrets of heaven, it was a time where all of you as pastors, seminarians, and believers are one step closer to the hope of heaven. Next time, we will talk about the introductory lesson 22, Three Kinds of Israel. The instructor who will give you the next lecture is a very special person who is more fun. I hope you will receive much grace. Finally, we are all one in God and in Jesus. Let's shout together that we are one. We are one. Let us pray. Holy and exalted Father God, thank you so much. I'm truly so grateful for the grace you have bestowed upon us that at a time like this, when God's work is being completed, you have granted us your precious words. Also, since you have allowed the seventh trumpet to be sounded through the online seminar, everyone who attended this seminar, please have them listen carefully to the word, perceive, and be guided to God's kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. Please guide all people to come to new heaven, new earth, where you are with, through the words of heaven, earth, sun, moon, and stars that you have given today. We give you all thanks, and I pray all this with earnest faith in the name of the loving Jesus. Amen.
Amen. Thank you for listening to the end. It says, Jesus overcame the world. What does it mean that Jesus overcame the world? Is Jesus' church, which is spiritual Israel, the eternal chosen people of God? Shouldn't there be the chosen people of God's kingdom once again? God's kingdom at the second coming, which is a time of Revelation's fulfillment, is new spiritual Israel. Who will be its chosen people? Testimony on the parables of the secrets of heaven and their true meanings. We've shared Lesson 21, the figurative heaven and earth, and the sun, moon, and stars today. I believe you've felt the great grace of God through today's lesson. Believers from all around the world may be of different race, gender, from different countries, and speak different languages. But our sincere heart of loving God's Word is the same. I believe we are one within God's love and His Word of Truth. Many seminaries and pastors are wanting to sign MOU with Shincheonji as we speak from all around the world so that we can be one within the Word. Please contact us via email and phone if you have any questions about our church and teachings. We'll make sure to answer all of your questions kindly. Our next lesson is Lesson 22, The Three Kinds of Israel. I ask that you'll be with us as a testimony on the parables, the secrets of heaven, and their true meanings continues. Lastly, I'd like to thank all the pastors, seminarians, and congregation members who've been with us to the very end. We'll finish the seminar here with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we've also forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God's family of faith, thank you very much for being with us until the end.